My father was confident, but he was not an arrogant man at all. And it takes a great deal of chutzpah to run for President of the United States or even Governor of California for that matter. And her absolute belief in him gave him that chutzpah to run for office. I don't know that he would have done it otherwise. In the months before my father died, my mother repeated often that she had to be there at his last moment. Her determination was ferocious. She simply had to be at his side when he left this world. I said the only thing I could think of and what I thought my father would say, that it was in God's hands. She was there, and occasionally I've thought that even God might not have the guts to argue with Nancy Reagan. <laughs> As her own health declined, she was quite adamant and vocal about reuniting with my father on the other side after her passing. I am hoping for God's peace of mind that she got her wish. My father was inclined to believe that everyone was basically good and that certainly anyone who worked for him was pure of heart and could never be nursing a private agenda. My mother didn't share that inclination <laughs> and she uh, didn't have that luxury. In my mother's world, you were either helpful to her husband or you were not. And I think we all know what side of equation, the equation you'd want to be on. Since we're among friends, I think we can uh, admit that she was not always the easiest person to deal with. She could be difficult, she could be demanding, she could be a bit obsessive. Truly, she could be a royal pain in the ass when she wanted to be, but uh, usually only so that my father didn't have to be. Uh, you didn't want to get on mom's bad side, particularly by hurting her husband. If you did that, you had earned yourself an implacable foe. If you happen to run into the ghost of Don Regan sometime, you can just ask him. 